Before we begin this review, I would like to give you a little bit of a warning because this is a, a review about audio cables, and I know the controversy uh, between audio files about audio audio cables, and if they actually change the sound. And I I don't think I did a very good job in explaining the quote unquote science of audio cables that I found. So I would just link at the description below um, the actual articles I referenced when talking about these audio cables. And of course, these articles were written by someone who is, well, of course, more well versed, versed than I am at this topic and also more knowledgeable, <laughs> no, uh, obviously. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Let's get to the review. So what I have today with me are these two Hakuge cables. This one is the uh, Morning Sky and this is the um, Flower Brocade cable. And in my few months or maybe a year of reviewing IEMs or and headphones, I would never imagine me reviewing audio cables because most of my audiophile journey, I, I I really don't think a lot about audiophile cables. I would just buy the cheapest cable that I can find that works the, the bare minimum type of cables um, that simply just do their job. And these cables just still do their job pretty well. And my, my opinions on cable fluctuates uh, quite a lot in my audio file journey and now I think I have a more grounded opinion about audio file cables that I would like to say based on science however this, the actual uh, standardization of science <laughs> I, I the science of cable is pretty complex I guess it's it's not as simple as you might think however it's it's it has quite a simple conclusion where we'll 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 talk about it in the sound department um, okay we'll first go with the the cheaper morning sky cable which retails at about $129 and in my opinion that is definitely not the most expensive ca audio cables but this is Definitely not the cheapest also. It's a few times more expensive than the usual TRN K bears or like the, the regular Chi Fi cable. However, it's it's at a price that is, in my opinion, reasonable. Reasonable in an audiophile scheme of prices, again like audiophile cable prices. However, the flower brocade is it's a bit more expensive. It's uh, it is about two hundred dollars, one hundred ninety nine dollars to be specific, and it's yeah, it's a bit more expensive than these. And it the looks you would notice that these look more premium than these, and it feels a bit more premium than these also. However, the 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 morning sky cables are actually built very well in my opinion. They they are they look very good also. They kind of remind me of the file hibiscus cable, if you remember that. That cable got hyped about like a year ago or something. And they they do look... They actually do look pretty good for a very budget cable. It's it's very cheap. It's it's about $10 if, I, if I'm not mistaken. And it's, it's just a simple good looking cable that does its job so yeah and this is slightly more premium looking and slightly premium feeling 
its design is a bit more complex. It looks a bit more industrial in a way. However, it's it's not as soft as the um, hibiscus cable. It's a bit stiffer and a bit uh, slightly thicker, I guess. So the 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 materials used here is noticeably more high quality than the uh, hibiscus cable and it should be like that because it's 10 times more expensive however the the choice of materials that uh, they use in the Hakuge morning sky in my opinion it's not the best because when I plugged it in to my Jotunheim it sound it it, 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 it delivers a bit of electric shock to me because the wiring and the electrical wiring in my house is not the most optimal. Yes. So, yeah, I get this. It, this conducts electricity to the user. Sim simply to put it that way. Uh, then again, the um, flower brocade, in my opinion, is a more premium feeling type of cable. It's a bit thicker, it's a bit honestly stiffer however it looks very beautiful it has a bit more complex design to it uh, you will notice it from the uh, 4.4 millimeter jack uh, it's a bit more complex looking than the uh, morning sky cable and the splitter also looks a bit more steampunkish than the uh, morning sky so it looks wise I would st I would prefer the flower bouquet and it's also green which is the best color so yeah looks wise I really like them and the in addition to that the flower bouquet does not actually shock me when I put them in the and I plug them in the Jotunheim because it, I don't know if it if it's actually because it's 4.5 millimeter balance and this is a single ended and how the the wiring inside of the uh, Jotunheim give delivers electric shock to the uh, single ended output but not to the balance output I have no idea about that however that's just my experience and yeah in the in the box. You have this this wooden box with somewhat of a padding here, and you only get the warranty card. And the box is not a very high quality box. You see, it cracks easily, it snaps easily during shipping. So, yeah, not the, be not the best quality box. The, the, it also get this type of. Uh, pouch which I don't think is quite useful at all because yeah it doesn't protect your IEMs like at all but it's just good to have I guess or not because it's extra cost which means the cable could be much much cheaper not maybe not much much cheaper but noticeably cheaper than if they don't use this pouch or go with the wooden styled ca uh, case that's yeah that's just my opinion however with audio cables it's inevitable that the that, that, that audio files or the or the person that's going to buy these cables is going to think about how would these cable make my IEM sound better like it's 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 inevitable that we will think about sound even when I was in a state where I don't really care about the sound production of the audio cables I still actually care I guess about the production of the of the sound because if it ru actually ruins the sound that would be actually an interesting experience um, so yeah I wouldn't want them to ruin my IEM and 
with the morning sky, they actually sound very, very balanced, I guess. By the way, I'm going to use the Blano Freeze for um, reference, I guess. It's not for reference, for testing, I guess. The reason I use Blano Free because it's a very accessible IM, which is easy, and everyone have tried them, and they the the differences shows even in, in a very budget IM such as Blano Freeze. And for reference, I'm going to use the original legendary Blano Free cable. It's it's the legendary, the the, the most exciting, the most beautiful cable to have ever graced our audiophile IMs. So this would be the morning sky cables actually sound very similar to the Plano Freeze cable. So the difference here is not a very not a lot of difference. The science a bit in the uh, with the audiophile cables is that from my research and from what I have yeah researched and known that audiophile cables they don't introduce nonlinear distortion which means it actually doesn't change the frequency response and Michael from after sound reviews have actually measured these cables before and it turns out they don't actually change the frequency response however you can easily notice the audible differences between these two cables because it 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 would introduce linear type of distortion which is timing and the shape of the waveform which would result in a difference in how we perceive the sound. It's actually a very co complex topic, and I, and I would probably I would link the research I use for this uh, for the for my assessment of these c cables down below, and I'm not going to elaborate here in the video because it's going to take a, a whole like an hour probably minimum if I'm going to get through all of this however I would just elaborate the uh, overall conclusion of what I get from the sound quality differences of these three cables for the morning sky I think they are they are very balanced they are they, they sound quite like the blonde blonde Ofri's uh, stock cable. However, they do, they they do have a bit better control and less smearing, especially in the in the in the lower region and the mid range. It has noticeably less smearing overall, I guess, than the blonde Ofri cable. So, yeah. But tone, tonally, they, they sound the same. It, it delivers the timbre-wise. It sounds very similar with the uh, Blonde Free cable. And the um, Flower Brocade cable. This is actually noticeably drier sounding. It's, it, it, it's a bit uh sharper i guess in the delivery it's it turns the the highs especially the highs to sound dry and unappealing in comparison with these two cables which is a pity because i really like the, the design but the, the, it is just not a very good audio cable in my opinion and it's the most expensive and it may pair well with with the very very select IMs that you need to really try out, I guess, beforehand. However, in my testing with IMs other than Blondes, for example, my Sony ZX1000 or the Blessing Twos or uh, the Hussey Sound Heart Mirror, these don't pair well with those because they just make their highs or their S regions or their overall treble region sound 
just grainy and gritty and rough sounding it, it, it's not very pleasant at all the bass sound most um, tight it sound tightest in the um, flower brocade than these two the sub bass sounds sharper and more technical I guess in the um, flower brocade however the, the, the highs is just unbearable in my opinion in some of those IEMs so yeah it might with that with the type of presentation in the top end it might give you a sense of something more detailed or better separation or, or something else like that whatever it's just simply drier sounding more analytic sounding and these two i think the uh, morning sky strikes quite a better balance in terms of sound production reproduction or like for its transient response or like for its like wave shape wavelength shape i guess then then the other two the the, the blonde cable is a bit warmer so the the I guess the fl the morning sky is a bit of a middleman in between these three. The, especially with the Blano freeze, with an IM, the, but there is also IMs that like the uh, Fiat Audio L4, which don't really respond well to ch ch cable changes, and I notice minimal differences and some have a lot of differences like the blessing twos and the uh, ex1000 so yeah it kind of also depends on the im you're look you're using i don't think buying expensive cable is that worth it however for these cables i don't think this is worth it because the, the sound is just a bit too dry for me However, this is actually quite pleasant sounding and it's it has pleasant looking and feeling material. So you're going to buy any of these. I think this, but pick the 4.4 millimeter version if they have any. Um, yeah, or if you're only using a lender, it's, it's very, it's fine. It's fine. I would I would buy the 4.4 millimeter because of most of my amps are balanced amps. So yeah, I guess that's it for the review. I guess yeah. See you next time. Godspeed.